What is up folks at home? We're back out on the lake today. We're gonna do some fall fishing. It is September. We're gonna get some underwater. We're gonna get some fish catches. We're gonna get a lot of good stuff. So let's dive into breaking down a lake in the fall. We got clear water, really clear water, right? We've got, I don't know yet, but I'm gonna guess water temperatures in the low 70s, maybe upper 60s. And we've got not a soul on the lake. Literally Sunday afternoon, nobody out here. Let's go catch them. Stay tuned. So when I'm fishing in the fall, I'm gonna start out with a hard bait out deep. I use three baits really in the fall to do a lot of my fishing. Out deeper on the grass lines and edges, I'm gonna throw the Jackal Rearrange. It's a big jerk bait, and this time of the year, fish are more willing to hit that bigger profile jerk bait than anything else I found. I love the Rearrange because it's loud, obnoxious, and has a great rolling action. Plus, the finishes on the bait are fantastic long pauses are great so i started out fishing the rearrange in 8 to 12 feet of water on any grass clumps and hedges that i could find now i had a lot of followers today but we were in a cold front a lot of fish weren't in the mood to really chase and eat so that rearrange is great if you've got an active bite but if you've got a shut down bite, you really gotta slow it down. You gotta pause it and let it suspend. It's slowly going to rise. It does a good job for you on that pause because it sits perfectly horizontal. But today wasn't the day for the rearrange. So I moved in a little bit shallower. I saw a little more bait fish and I started throwing the Texas rigged rattle worm, just like a fluke, right? But I chose the Texas rigged rattle worm because it has the rattle in the tail at 4.5 inches. It does a good job of being the size of those bait fish. It comes through everything here. You can see I'm twitching it over top of grass and you can see all the fish and bait fish that are kind of in this shallow grass. Water's super clear so the rattle worm does a good job. Was able to put this bait in front of a lot of different fish visually that I could see around docks and boat slips and different things and ended up catching a few bass on it. This copper color was the best copperhead, if you will. That red comes back into play as the water gets down into the 60s here's a bass that hooked up on it it's hard getting fish pictures underwater of baits but hey this one ended up being super cool and the fish were really biting well on that bait now as i moved closer to the docks i picked up a different bait and let's see what happens Dark sleeper, let's go. Number two, gotta find them schooled up. Let's go. So here's the perfect example. I'm going underwater on the dock where I just caught these two fish to see why they're there and what we can learn about it in the fall. Number one, coming up under this dock, you see there are a ton of bluegill present. And it's because this dock has a good population of weed growth around it you can see a lot of smaller bass are intermixed with those sunfish in there and then as you get a little bit deeper into the dock here what you're gonna see is those bigger bass are hiding in that deeper shadow. Anytime in the fall where you can find cover and there's a two and a three pounder and there's probably a five right there underwater. Anytime you can find cover and overhanging structure, you're going to find bass. Now here's the cool thing. I'm gonna chase this bigger fish here to show you something. In the fall, these fish are going to be glued, absolutely glued to any kind of cover that's still left in the lake. 
that fish just got spooked out of there and it goes right on back now they were going to bite the dark sleeper today under the dock for one reason and one reason only fish this time of the year tend to sit with their bellies on the bottom when they're not disturbed and that really allows them to stay warm one but also to feed up fish like to feed up in the fall they like to hit things above their head their eyes are positioned on the top of their head it's an ambush that dark sleeper swimming slowly and lazily down through that column really really looks good and then when it gets on the bottom it does that nice trail and that nice water dispersal so when you skip that bait way up under the dock and it falls slowly through there and then you start to skip it and hop it out like that it looks very 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 realistic fish are going to come unglued for that bait it's one of the best dock fishing baits out there period um, but I carry three rods with me in the fall right number one a jerk bait rod I'm gonna throw that jerk bait out deep if I can't get bit there I'm gonna move to shallow vegetation I'm gonna throw that rattle worm 4.5 because fish are pulled in close and then if I get up around structure I'm gonna throw that mega bass dark sleeper and 3a sounds and donko is the color to go with guys I want to thank you for hanging out with us today hope you learned something start fishing those hardcover opportunities in the fall because that's where fish are going to be go to our links on omnia support the channel there thanks for hanging out with us today guys hope you enjoyed the underwater footage this was a cool one spent a lot of time underwater looking at those fish we always enjoy when we get to do that the channel is growing give us a like subscribe comment let us know what you want to see in the future and we'll see you out there on the water guys next time